when the Buddha taught Rahula to focus on his breath. Before he talked about breath meditation, he gave him a few preliminary exercises. One of the most important ones is the exercise on patience, endurance. Okay. He says bad things are going to come up in your meditation, so you need to have some endurance to deal with them and not get blown away by them. So as he told Rahula, you know, make your mind like earth. People throw discussing things in the earth, but the earth doesn't shrink away. In the same way when you're meditating, things come up in your mind that you don't like, you don't shrink away. You just try to treat them as the earth treats these things. The earth doesn't feel affected by them at all. This principle applies not only to your meditation, but to life. People are going to do and say and think really negative things. But as the Buddha said, you have to make your goodwill, in this case, as broad and as expansive as the earth. So people can try to dig in the earth, but they can't make the earth go away. They can spit, they can do other things on the earth, and the earth doesn't go away. So you want to develop this quality of mind. Now this doesn't mean you just sit there and do nothing, but you have to have that strength, that solidity, that resilience inside, so you can decide what the right thing to do would be. After all, when the Buddha taught Rahula breath meditation, he didn't just say, be with whatever breath comes up. He said, learn how to breathe in a way that's comfortable, learn how to breathe in a way that gives rise to pleasure, gives rise to rapture. Breathe in a way that you're aware of the whole body all at once. Breathe in a way that calms the breath. There are lots of things to do. I mean, the 16 steps, 14 of them are, are trainings, things you make up your mind you're going to do with the breath. Now you learn how to do that skillfully by being a good observer, and by to be a good observer you need patience, you need endurance. Just to live well in the world you need patience and endurance, not because you just sit there and passively accept whatever comes up, but you want to know what's the right thing to do right now. And you don't want your emotions to get in the way, you don't want your greed, aversion, and delusion, or sorrow, your whatever, to get in the way. You want to have that aspect of the mind that's like earth, that's not affected by anything. And you stand on that as you do your work, both in the meditation and in the world. So when things come up that you don't like, either inside or outside, remember, make your mind like earth. And then you can stand on that earth-like quality and figure out what the most skillful thing to do would be. Because there's always that aspect of the Buddhist teachings. He just doesn't doesn't just teach you to know things, he teaches you to know things that you can do. What's the right thing to do, what's the wrong thing to do? Because the mind is constantly active and that's the kind of advice it needs. <laughs>